Holy crap, who is this man? <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome to Rising Lovers! So far I have no idea what it is about, but there's eight chapters to this. So we'll see how well this let's play goes, so let's start. Chapter 1, Welcome to Shanghai. Arrival in Shanghai, meeting with Julian, installation of in the apartment. What does this mean? So we're in China? Thank you ladies come for coming here today. I know that the, these days following the short events are never easy. Before starting, what is your name? Enter my first name. Should I give a really stupid name? I kind of want to give a stu boobs boobs McGee boobs I won't keep you on any longer. I can't bl <laughs> I mean, We only have one point to address indeed. It's about boobs. <laughs> I'm so mature. What the fuck is going on? Who is this? Okay, let me give I'm gonna give really dumb names for all these characters I mean dumb dumb voices for all these characters my darling, can you come back again for with us for a second? Wait, go back! I didn't see! I didn't see! As I was saying, your father had prepared his will- Prepared his will jointly with your mother. What? However, the former called me last year when I found out that- Boobs. Okay, we have a choice here. When he told me he only had six months to live, or yes or so, that he would be leaving us again soon. A phone call, what is he saying? Oh, that's so rude! I, I would just say that he's leaving us, because I don't want to be like a dick. He asked me to add a paragraph to his will. Is this our mother? That's impossible. We, t we talked about- we, put, we, we talked about it only together last week. Do like the art style, though. The art style is very nice. Well, I believe, madam, that your husband, like you, I am sure, like all of us, had his secrets. Okay, I don't like the fact that this guy keeps, like, zooming in on me. It's freaking me out. <laughs> in fact, a secret apartment, if I may say. Do we get a free house? What's going on? Excusez-moi. Is that what I should do? Because the developers of this game are French, so I'm sorry. Anyone? My French audience, I'm very sorry. He asked me to add a paragraph into his will because he wanted to leave his apartment located in Shanghai to his oldest daughter, Boobs, <laughs> in China. Thank you. I, I am not stupid. I know where Shanghai is. Mom, sorry. Don't worry. I am on, I am the one to say sorry. I was untactful. It is a lot of money. Shit loads of money property with a 75 meter, 2 square feet located in Hunalu, Hunalu District. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sure that I pronounced the name very badly. Me too, dude. Don't worry about it. And I hope that you will not hold it against me. Who says that, though? <laughs> Boobs, were you aware of this? B Boobs, were you aware of this uh, this catastrophe? No, not at all. You neither? Dad had an apartment in China and you didn't know about it? I know that he had lived there before we he met, but I definitely did not think that he had an apartment there. Why would he hide this from me all this time? The man had secrets. Ladies, this sort of solution is very difficult to handle. You may- you should know that my ex by my experience, it's not uncommon. This guy should not butt in and say that. I am just saying that's fucking rude. As I was saying, through their life, a lot of people need to keep their secrets. I will leave you to take this information. Miss, do not hesitate to call me if there's any questions. I suggest that you come back tomorrow to sign the necessary documents to confirm the inheritance transfer. Tomorrow? Why, is something waiting for me or something? Let's do it now. I'd rather do it today. It's hard enough, I guess. That's very kind of you, but tomorrow we have a family reunion and we, I won't have the time. I, I would say I, I would rather do it today. Don't get too personal. <laughs> God, what the- <laughs> Why does he keep zooming in? I understand. Well then, I need your to initial this and sign at the foot of each page of, of these different documents. Try to ignore my mother who has who started crying again. Thank you, boobs. I remain at your disposal for any advice or recommended sev several several estate agencies who will be able to answer your questions about this property. You are now free to sell. You will get a very good price for it, or maybe to live in it. Who knows? Here's my card. Here's my card. If you want to sell it to me. That's probably what he's thinking. <laughs> live in it? That's going too far. Did I give her a British accent at the beginning of this? I don't even remember. Mom, thanks a lot for your help. I will call if you need- if I need anything. Live in Shanghai. That's all we need now. What? Is she, like, telling us to? Live in Shanghai? And why not? What on earth is going- Whoa, hello, who is this attractive woman? An 11 hour flight to Shanghai. I have to get to, to know my neighbor. And this is how I ended up on the plane. Officially, I'm going to take a look at the apartment. Can we romance her? Is this an option? Please tell me. But when my mother and my sister left me for the airport yesterday lunchtime, 
They had realized that I had not just packed the bags for six days. That's crazy. You just left in a spur of a moment. I don't know if I could have ever done that. Yes, and at the same time, it seems unnatural to me. It's weird. Everything happened like a sign. I, I finished my contract two weeks ago. My father had just died and he asked me to promise him that I would be happy. Be happy? Yes, let's just say he was never very convinced about my choices of studies. He never understood why I chose in business school when I had been always been passionate about photography. <gasps> are we Max Co- Yo, are we Max Caulfield and this girl's Victoria Chase? What's going on? So why- so why didn't you follow your passion? My father was a war correspondent. He sacrificed his whole life for his passion, even his family. He was co covering the events of the Darfur when my little sister was born. He only saw her six weeks after birth. I don't really know- I don't really know if I want to live that sort of life. And yet, at the same time, you don't have to become a war correspondent. You can earn a living for photography in many ways. Yeah, I was about to say, you don't have to be like apart from your family to do this kind of business. Do you think so? In fact, I've always dreamt of doing it. To be honest, I have never been able to think about anything else for the last few days. You're right, I, n I had never really thought about it. You think so? Are you going to try your luck in Shanghai then? Sure. Well, I think I will, if I like the apartment. If I feel good in the city, I think I'll try to give it a shot. Try to become a photographer. I think that's brilliant and so brave. Too few people actually follow their dreams in the wake up at 40, frustrated and depressed by the path they have taken. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. The crew and I would like to wish you a pleasant morning board on the flight to Shanghai. We will surely bring you some breakfast. It is currently 9, hour, nine hours and 5 minutes local time. We will be landing a little less than 2 hours and 2 hours time. So, what do you want to know about your apartment? Not a lot. The solicitator told me that it was it was complicated to obtain the information at that that it was better that to go there to see it for myself. So we don't even know what it looks like. The guy doesn't even know anything. All I know is that it's very big and it's in, it's in the French concession. Oh, fantastic! It's in the best part of the city. Well, in my opinion, you will see it's very pretty and there's a lot of trees and some great shops. Has this girl been there before? Cool. Yes, I hope I like it. If I had to live there for a while. Did you take a return ticket? I can't believe that, but I didn't, no. Ooh, damn, so we're gonna live there. I know return ticket. Can we romance her? I'd like to know, someone tell me. The heck? Here we are in Shanghai at last. Long live jet lag, now I must find the apartment. Hello, I would like to, to go to this address. Do you take credit cards? No English, no English. Uh-oh, no English, that's great. Sorry. She should have at least like learned some basic, um. Basically, I, uh, what what part of what part of China is Shanghai in? Do you guys? Someone tell me. Do they speak Cantonese or Mandarin there? I don't. I don't really know. But if you're traveling to a foreign country that doesn't, you know, speak your native tongue, you should at least learn that country's language so that you can survive at least. You don't have to learn like the entire language, but at least you know like where to go and like what to ask properly. So, oh god. Oh, French? Yes, French. Very good. Get in. Ooh, the chauffeur speaks French. Interesting. It's an old car from the 70s with a torn le leather back seat. No seat belts, nor conditioning. A little bit scary, but I love it. Are you on vacation? No, I'm moving to Shanghai. Well, yes and no, it's not clear yet. I don't think it's a... I... It's not very clear yet. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse my curiosity, but I'm happy to be speaking a little French. Have you lived in France? Yes, in Paris for 15 years. And you? Are you from Paris? Yes. And you are here all on your own? Is your husband going to join you? <laughs> oh my god, that is very rude to assume that she is married. How do, what if she's gay, huh? What if she is gay? That is not fair. No, but I, I intend to meet him. Oh no, not at all. I am single. No, why? Because I'm a woman. I can't travel on my own. Can't tell me what to do. I don't need no man. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I'm single. <laughs> I'm sure you will find a lovely boy here. So we can't be gay? What is this? I want to be gay in this game. Aw. Are you leaving France for good? Yes, I already lived in New York and Berlin during my studies. I like living abroad. This girl got around. That's that's pretty cool. Through the open window, I can see a shady street beneath the fo the foliages of a dozen plain trees. The houses with low wooden balconies. There are many expats here, aren't there? Yes, we're in the French concession. We are nearly there. There are a lot of Europeans and Americans here. The apartments are very beautiful. I can see that. It's very, it's very quite strangely. Here we are, we arrived. Do you take credit cards? Watch him be like, no, I, we don't take anything. Oh no, you have to pay a tax. Oh god, you have to pay taxis and public transportation with a special card, which you can top up. If not cat, if not in cash. Uh oh, are we fucked? I withdrew some money at the airport. I hope this is enough. Oh yes, there's there is plenty. So did we, did we just give him extra money? 
Is that all? Are you sure? Here, take another ten. This girl is very generous. Holy crap. No, no, that's fine. Keep your money to buy yourself something good for dinner tonight. You'll be very tired after traveling. And this guy is very nice. Oh my goodness. He gets, out of, he gets out and opens the door to boot. I thank him. Take my bags and get out too. She's pretty. Who is this? A family is sitting in plastic chairs in front of the entrance. A woman comes towards me. Oh my god, I cannot read that. Jolene, that's her name. Uh, I show her the paper which I wrote on the address. She nods her head. And, uh, is this the house? Shall the end? Shall we, shall we then? I don't know. Excuse me. <laughs> she insists and starts laughing. Shall we... Shall we any? Shall, shall we any? I don't... I, uh, no, I am boobs. <laughs> I am boobs. <laughs> oh my god, why did I name this character that? <laughs> she turns around and starts shouting. The hell is going on? What? Holy crap, who is this man? <laughs> An open window above me, a, a man bare chested, half asleep, leans out the window. Oh, wait, I'm coming. On. The neighbor returns to her chair. A few minutes later, the young man arrives from behind the house and holds out his hand. He puts a sh he puts on a shirt. What a shame! <laughs> oh my god. Hello, can I help you? Are you lost? A little bit. I'm uh, a little, but I'm uh, delighted to have that you have found me. I don't really know. I would like to go to this address. It doesn't take me to me any charming boy. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be like that this in this game. I'm just gonna be like, do you know where the dress is? Please tell me. God, don't come close to me like that. <laughs> I smile and show him the paper. It's the right address. Are you looking for someone in particular? I, uh, I own an apartment here, or I should say my father did. Boobs? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do we know each other? No, but my father, but your father told me about you. I'm Julian. I'm a tenant. Your father has been renting me his apartment for the last four years now. How is he? Uh-oh. He's dead. Whoa, you're just gonna plainly say it out like that? Oh my goodness. Sorry, I didn't really mean to announce it like that, but I don't like it when people use a lot of stupid metaphors which means the same thing. Ah, she's direct. Okay, I can appreciate that. Doesn't make me feel any less sad, and I have to spend 11 hours on the plane. I... don't worry. I... I like your father a lot. He's very much... he was my favorite... favorite professor at, at political science school. Oh. Oh, you're one of his students? Ah, uh, yes, Jillian, he told me about you. You went to political science school? More and more interesting. I'll just say his dad talked about him. He seems like a nice guy. Your father was my tutor for my master's thesis last year. He supported me and I told him about my project coming to live here and he rented his apartment to me. Oh, okay. We have not spoken a lot since then. I think he went off to I think he went off to a big project. Did he have an accident there? No, he was in the hospital. Devastating cancer. Oh no. He was diagnosed with six months and then that was it. I am so sorry. Come in, let's not stand here. He grabbed my he grabbed my large suit, suitcase and guided me along the small path. We arrived at Julian's apartment, or should I say mine. Wait a minute! Are we living in the same <gasps> Are we living in the same apartment? Yo, that's weird. Please excuse my undertidiness. If I known you were coming, I got home last late last night and this place is a bit of a mess. Looks pretty clean to me, dude. You wouldn't be concerned if you saw my room. You can say that again. Are you sure you live on your own? Don't worry, I'm tired to notice anything. I would say the my room is a mess, so I don't care. I really don't give a shit. <laughs> I was just thinking, you might be suffering from terrible jet lag. Do you want to take a shower? Have some food? I love a drink of water. I wouldn't say no to a good shower. Do you have hot water? That's so rude to say. I, I would say, you know, water would be nice. <laughs> don't move. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Julian goes out of the room and comes back carrying a glass of water and a towel. There, and here's a towel. Take a long shower as- take a, as long as the shower as you want. That way I'll have time to tidy up. I am so embarrassed to walk you into this chaos. If that can help you out, I'll go for it straight away. Julian winks at me and shows me to the bathroom door. It's big! That's what she said! What a change from- for, uh, what a change from mine in Paris. Yes, an apartment is really pleasant to live in. The way the doors and the window are positioned, there's always some- there's always some air. It's strange to think that my father lived here. Was the apartment finished when you moved in? Yes, I think he worked on it himself. He put down the, the mosaic tiles in the bathroom, for example, and hunted for all the furniture to at, in the antique shops in Shanghai. He had a lot of taste. I wonder why the father built this apartment. Was it this like his hobby or something? I don't know. However, the mess and clothes on the floor are, are yours, aren't they? Go and have your shower. I'll take care of that. 
This guy trying to be suave. What's going on? <laughs> Take a long hot shower, my muscles relax. Jillian puts on some music and whistles to a song which I love. He has good taste as well as being really cute, I know. Did this guy just walk into the bathroom? What's wrong with you? You can put the towel on the clothes rack on the Terrence. Uh, okay. The door opposite of the bathroom. Go through the study. I discover a small room with a desk, sport equipment, and French windows on the large Terrence shaded by the foliage fo fo from the tree plant. Go on. Oh, he's showing us a tour. It's kind of weird that he just kind of walked into the bathroom, though. Then I go back to the living room and sit up at the bar, which separates the living room from the kitchen, where Julian is making what looks like a smoothie. Here, some vitamin. <laughs> this guy is so random! What the hell? Thanks. I was thinking while you were in the shower. You inherited the apartment, is that right? Yes, that's right. You came to see what it's like in the aim of selling it? And evict you? No way, we just met. And no, why do you have to advise me to do so? Not at all, don't worry. Um, we just met, I guess. I don't know. He's like, thanks for not kicking me out of my ass. <laughs> I'm asking in case I have to look for a new roof in the next few days. He sits on the stool opposite to me on the other side of the bar. I don't know what I'm going to do with the apartment yet. It's a little sudden, all of this. And I have still never been a property owner, not to mention in Shanghai. I have thought of buying in Paris, but the idea of getting into debt for the rest of my life didn't appeal to me. I still have to spend enough on business school. You were at business school? Yes, in Paris. It was great because I could study on the, on their campuses all over the world, but thanks to the student loan. Have you finished paying it back? Yes, at last. I did work. I did a work study program during the, my last two years, so only I only had a few two years to pay it back. And then I worked on Dior for the two years as a junior employee. I earned a lot of money, and it was cool. The first year, I continued to live with my parents as, to save as much money as possible and refund my loan. Second year, I couldn't resist. I moved into a small apartment. I don't- Once again, I don't like how the character sprites move in and out of the shot. It's just really weird to me. <laughs> yes, life with your parents. I know what it's like. And what about you? You're from Paris, too. So what are you doing in Shanghai? No, I'm not from Paris. I'm a little provincial boy. I'm from the... Nantes? Originally. But my father was in the army, so we moved a lot, depending on where he was sent to. Spent a lot of time in Nice, and then we moved back up progressively. But I did pre preparatory classes in Paris, and then I studied political science school. So, how did you end up here? A bit by chance. I had to say I have a friend who was doing internship here, so I came to visit him. I really fell in love with the city. After having fantasized about opening up something here in Shanghai with my friends while I was staying here, I went back to Paris and started thinking seriously about it. I mentioned it to your father, and I literally saw his face lighting up about it. He told me that he would love Shanghai and that he lived here when he was my age, and that he made me... And that it was, and that's what made me decide to go through with it. And so you set up a business? Yes, I have launched a coffee shop bar franchise called the Editor's Cafe. That's where three, there are three in Shanghai. I'm getting ready to open a new one in, in Beijing next spring. Oh man, I wish I could speak French. You know what's sad? I took French when I was in elementary school. It's mandatory in Canada that you take French uh, while you're in elementary school. And I've been in high school too, but I barely remember anything. Bo gross et successful tu e tro tu e tu e tout pour toi des donc. I'm sorry, I butchered the the French language. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I don't know what that means though. Somebody translate it. I just answered one criteria. The Chinese who lived here, the very priv privileged upper class, of course, love these types of very Western style places. They went to visit New York, Brooklyn, and they love it. And then it expands the student population next to meet up in bars around me of home. But why? What's so special about your bar? Nothing in particular. It's that China has this concept of cafe and bar that really doesn't exist. How long are you staying? Don't even- I don't know. You have a girlfriend? <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. It's not very clear in my mind yet. Everything depends on how I do it. I'm gonna say not clear yet. We barely know this guy. His phone rings. Hello? Seb? Yes, yes, I got home safely, and you? Yes, I'll pop into the bar this evening. Excuse me a second, boobs. He gets up and goes to his bedroom. I walk around to the living room. The apartment is really beautiful. I love the dark parquet floor and the wooden shelves. Excuse me, that was an employee from the restaurant. What were you saying? I was saying that I don't know how long I'll be staying. Yes, that's it. Listen, Julian, I do know. I think that I have known since the solicitor announced that I would be inheriting this apartment. I would like to stay, 
I don't know how long, but you see what that means to stay. Oh, okay, okay, of course. I understand. It's your apartment. That's normal. How long do I have before I have to move out? Why would you move? Uh, because you want to stay or don't, do you? Yes, because I know you're here too. Yes, but we, we got three rooms. There are two bedrooms. Do you not want to live with me? I'll just say there's two bedrooms. I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, you want us to live together as roommates? Would that be bother- would that bother you? Oh, uh, no, no, not at all. I think it's cool, in fact. He's like, cool, a girl named Boobs. <laughs> I think it's going to work. I'm going to work at the bar in a few hours. Have a nap if you want. I will leave the spare key in the, in the, at the, on the bar. Are you going to supervise your employees? No, but sometimes I give them a hand. I can take it in a dirty direction, can <laughs> it? It's always strange when people say you're employees. When they're all around my age, you're older. Here, I'll give you the address if you want. Why did you come in the evening? We don't close until 1 in the morning. Okay, I'll see you. I'm not sure I'll be able to find myself around Shanghai at night on my first night, but... Oh, don't worry. It's just around the corner. Then I'll see you later. I'm exhausted. I lie down in his bed. I don't have enough time to judge the softness of the mattress. I fall asleep immediately. Ah! What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. Excuse me. What? Turning over in the bed, my face is Julian lying beside me. What? What is this guy doing? No, it's me. After all, I'm the one in your bed. I was so tired yesterday, I didn't even think. I wanted to sleep on the sofa, but it's so uncomfortable. Then why didn't it go to the other bedroom? What the heck? <laughs> At three in the morning, I left work and I came home. I slept on the edge of the bed, of course. I didn't take advantage of the situation. Okay, good. I smile at him and throw a t-shirt at his head. With the quantity of clothes on the floor, I had plenty of chairs and ammunition. Julian burst out, laughing. burst out laughing. That's kind of weird because they're not that close yet, so I find this situation a little bit weird. Why is it that every time a girl is in my bed, it ends up in violence? I have a poor little thing. What the fuck is going on? Burst out laughing and throw anything I can find at him. Stop, stop, help, I'm being attacked. It's so weird, I don't know. I don't like the dynamic of the story. It's kind of it's kind of awkward. He ends up disappearing under the pile of clothes which had built up on his face. Hello, is anyone there? Julian, have you gone back to sleep? He bursts into laughter again and removes anything in his way. Oh shit, don't make me laugh. I just saw- I, I- I just swallowed a sock. Good breakfast? I'm feeling a little nauseous. Probably the jet lag. Sweet or savory? Toast or cereal? Fruit or yogurt? Is a little bit of a, everything possible? I'm not difficult. I'll take whatever you're having. What about everything? I don't know. I'll get everything that you have uh, asked for out. I have basically just dip in chocolate milk in the morning. I've always admired the muscular capacity of remaining- of remaining like a seven-year-old child. Oh, calm down, my little boobs. <laughs> to think that I was considering you letting you choose your bed. To think that I was considering letting you choose your bedroom. What? Let me remind you I'm the owner of this and I can throw you whenever I want to. I can throw you on your ass anytime I want, dick. I can pick- I- I'm the owner of this apartment. Don't be like that. Here we are. More biscuits for the young lady. Kinda don't like this guy now. <laughs> I struggled to get through the package, but I can't stop laughing. I managed to put, put four biscuits on one side. Julian serves me some fruit. I'm not a fan of cold milk. Well, so, no kidding. Would you like to have my room or move into the study? Two roomed apartments at their advantage. My bedroom is facing south, so it bright, it's, it, it's brighter and it's also bigger. The only problem is the noise from the street. The study is a smaller and then you have the terrace. I don't mind either way, but it's up to you. Um... Made up my mind, I guess. I have to go to Beijing tomorrow. I would rather take care of your room today. C. So, what have you chosen? My room or the study? Dun dun dun. You know what? Fuck it. Just go with the study. Who cares? I don't, I don't, I don't give a crap. Congratulations. You just completed this chapter. Would you like to discover what's next? Okay, so that was chapter one of Rising Lovers. I don't know how I feel about this game yet because it is a bit awkward, the storyline for me. Because it seems like Julian and Boobs are progressing their character relationship a little bit too fast in my opinion. But yeah, there's eight chapters to this game. So let me know what you guys think about if I should continue this as a series or... If you guys enjoyed this episode and want me to continue this series, please leave a like and comment below that you want me to and let me know what you guys think about the story and the characters so far. I wish that we could be gay, but I guess not. Anyway, <laughs> remember to subscribe to join the companions and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody!